I want to open up, um, since this is the 10th point, anybody have any questions for Skylar? So what inspired you to, to hear towards Kate and Art, like music, a lot of people go through music or poetry, but what was it about? Was it creating something? Like what? What guided you toward like spray painting? Well, um, first off, well, growing up, where I grew up, looking around the neighborhood, there was a lot of graffiti. Um, so I was always inspired by the graffiti scene, and I loved it. And everyone that I knew at my school, well, not everyone, but some people would do graffiti. Um, and then also, when I was younger, I lost my mom. So I went to therapy, and part of therapy was drawing. And then I went from drawing my emotions onto a paper, onto drawing things like um, like The Simpsons, SpongeBob, just different characters I like. And then after, my, I kept showing my dad these drawings and these different things I would, I would create. And he would say, you know, that's actually pretty good. Maybe, um, maybe we can go to this gallery, maybe we go to this museum and see what you like. And I was just so inspired by the different um, galleries and the different paintings that I saw and the people that I thought and then people are also tell me that I'm a great artist and I should start doing it so I started doing it and then after that you know things kind of took off. So kind of along those lines what's your artistic process? Say it once more. What's your artistic process? That's the secret if I say artistic process. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just playing. Um, um, Artistic process, I mean, it's different every time. I tell people that I'm inspired by the world. I love the world. I came in this world to create. I was put in this world to come and paint and inspire young kids like you guys. Um, so, literally, from the homeless man on the corner to the tallest building um, in downtown LA, I get inspired by. Uh, literally, I was riding down, riding on the freeway and saw the Variety um, magazine building, and I just loved their logo, Variety. It just says right, but I just <laughs> I love how it looks on my home, and I drew a little mock-up of a painting I, I should do, and I did it, and it came out great. So I'm just inspired by everything, and just seeing different things in the world. Being here today is going to inspire me. And I'm pretty sure when I get home, I'm going to draw something from this experience. Are there any artists that you look up to that like work inspire you? Um, there's a lot of artists, literally I can name every artist and you guys would be asleep right now. But um, <laughs> my favorite artist personally, I love Ken Day Wiley. He's a painter out of Compton in the 80s. And in the 80s, there was a lot of gang violence going on. And instead of being a gang banger or instead of doing something illegal, he decided to become an artist. He went on to go to Yale Art School and then he brought hip hop to the Smithsonian Museum. So he would take these traditional paintings of George Washington and different important people and put um, different hip hop artists on the painting. So it'll be it'll be um, George Washington like this, but it'll have an Wayne face on it. It's, it's really <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the video, it said you grew up in Baldwin Hills. What part of Baldwin Hills do you grow up? Because I live. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the ball house that you live in is the one I used to live in. Um, I used to live in, I used to live right off of Stocker on Don Tomaso and there was a lot of apartment buildings. It wasn't the greatest place, but it was nice for the time. Do you plan to go to the art school or you used to go to the Um, nah, I dropped off. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah um, I plan on going to art school. I'm in 12th grade right now, so I'm trying to figure everything out right now. Um, what I really want to do is, in my life, I'm always planning. One of the things that I always had in my mind was, I want to travel the world. So I want to go somewhere like to Paris, explore their types of style of art, and then attend school out there, and just see how life is out there. Or even New York. I've been to New York. I go to New York um, quite often because I have family there, but even live in New York for like a year or two. I just want to be away from LA so I can miss it so much. I come back, <laughs> get LA a hug, kiss the ground a couple of times, and be back up. Who's your favorite musical artist? Ooh, that's a great one. I love that one. Um, I love music. I am heavily inspired by music. You know, I have to love Kanye. Who doesn't love Kanye? I like, I like, I like the early Kanye and the new Kanye. My fav one of my favorite um, rappers is Kid Cudi, believe it or not. His music is very inspiring. He did a lot of drugs, and you can tell that in his, in his music. But you can tell that, you, you can tell that, that that's something.
something he didn't want to do. And he's like expressing his feelings out. The list goes on and on. Um, French Montana, I love ASAP Ferg too. Um, ASAP Rocky, just keep going on. The way there? Yeah, what's your favorite piece of art you've ever made? That is a hard one. You guys can give me one of these hard questions. Um, I did this painting called Forever because it took me forever to make. Um, it's all um, hanging in my living room right now. And it's, um, it's basically a collage of different paintings I've done before. It was just like I added a character. I go to sleep and I wake up the next day and think, oh, I need this. Then I add that. I go to sleep, I think it over. I dream, the dreams that I have are kind of like crazy. So like, I dream of something, I come back and I'll think what I dreamed about. And then finally one day, I added something on top of it. This big anime lady, it was really cool. Um, and I was just like, it's done. It's a masterpiece. You know? <laughs> I, said, I said, Dad, we're not selling this. We're keeping this. He said, nah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, aside from the internet, where could we go and view? Uh, it's my studio. And, um, but you can all follow me on Instagram at Skylar Gray Street Art. If you want to, I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah, we're just smart. We got all of our work and everything from there. Go ahead. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. It doesn't get better than green. Green tells you to go. Green is money. My name is Sky. I call it Kylie Blue because the sky is blue. My, my name is Sky Gray. I call it Gray. But I love green the most. It doesn't get better than Any more? Well, aside from me, I already asked you how you doing. How you guys feel? this morning. I see a lot of smiling faces, but some faces are smiling. I love smiles. I don't have the best smile, but I want to see some people smile. Well, we always open it up to any Q&A. Does anybody have anything to share? Maybe? <laughs> all right, all right. How many artists do we have in the house today? Yeah, I'm going to say that over the years. It's like a flat pair. 
So it's the pattern and then the Egyptian. <laughs> Black Pharaoh. All right, cool. Follow my Instagram and he and you can check it out. Okay. 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 But what's your favorite film? Who's your favorite film? I like one character. I was gonna, I was gonna say the same thing. I've seen like all the movies. Yeah. Have you seen The Hateful Eight? Yeah. It's a great movie. Yes. Follow. She likes to play her dogs. She likes to paint your dogs? What color is your dog right now? Yeah, um, I bought 20 paintings and a ruler of the country comes, so imagine you had an art show and Obama showed up. That's exactly how it is. 